As you're all aware, the major project marking the bicentenary of St. James Church is to install a new pipe organ by Dobson Pipe Organ Builders Proprietary Limited from Lake City, Iowa. Joining us now is the president of Dobson, John Panning. John, thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here. Can you tell us anything about the progress of your Opus 99, which is the St. James organ? Well, we're uh, probably about a quarter of the way through at this point, and um, it's going well. Uh, started working on what we call the sound boards, which are specialized boxes that both hold the pipes and contain the valves inside them that, that let wind into it, the air into it when the organist plays. Um, we've been building some of the uh, casework or the cabinets that the organ is enclosed in. Um, we're voicing some of the pipes. We're making the pipes sound the way that they should. Um, in our workshop, which is a preliminary thing. The final voicing is done in the church. Um, and the organ console, which is sort of the cockpit from which the organist plays the instrument, the woodwork for that is all completed and now is being fitted with uh, specialized electronic components. So when all the parts arrive in Sydney, uh, what are the stages uh, that your team will follow in order to put all of that together? Well, initially, it's a rather large crew that will come to Sydney because there's a lot of uh, work to do putting all the various parts together into the places where they go. We'll have a crew of perhaps eight or so people. Um, parishioners are going to be astonished by all the pieces. I mean, there's a tremendous number of bits and parts and everything that will uh, show up, more than anyone would ever imagine. So when people are purchasing an organ, it's often uh, the case that they wonder why organs are so expensive. And after they see all the things that arrive in the church, they wonder why they're not more expensive. Uh, when you <laughs> realize all the handwork and all the craft that has to go into making literally thousands of pieces. Gosh, it sounds like Ikea on steroids, really, putting it together. <laughs> I should mention now, that, too. Uh, after the installation of the organ, when it's physically installed, um, then specialists will come to work on the pipes, which is its own separate process. Once the organ's playable, then they can listen to each individual pipe and each one will be adjusted for the precise uh, strength, the loudness, the kind of tone so that they blend perfectly with each other and work perfectly in the acoustics of the church. Each organ built by Dobson is obviously custom made for the commissioning organization. What are the unique qualities of Opus 99? Well, it's a saying that um, the, the room that the organ is installed in is the most important stop in the organ, uh, that it, its acoustics um, invariably color how the organ sounds. And so the organ that we're building is going to be perfectly suited for the acoustics of St. James's Church. Um, the other thing that's very important to us is that it perfectly supports the choir, the singing of the choir, and also the singing of the congregation. Um, what's fairly unusual about its musical design is that it has uh, drawn some inspiration from early 20th century organs, um, from the period that's sometimes known as symphonic or orchestral instruments, um, where the organ tries to imitate, uh, to some degree, instruments in an orchestra. In Sydney, there's not another organ that will have the same kind of eclectic mix of, of classically inspired choruses, but also some of these orchestral or symphonic uh, inspired sounds uh, combined all in one instrument. So it'll be wonderful for accompanying singing because it'll have a lot of different colors and dynamic uh, range. It can be very soft and also very loud and everything in between. Um, it will allow the performance of solo literature for organ recitals um, in a way that no other organ in Sydney. I mean, you have some tremendous organs in Sydney, of course, the Town Hall, uh, Opera House, and those sorts of things. Uh, there are some world-class, renowned organs uh, in Sydney. But the organ for St. James's Church will have its own place because it's a unique blend of uh, this musical ability in the space of St. James's Church. We really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us about this, and we certainly can't wait to welcome your team to Sydney and hearing the first Dobson instrument to be played in the Southern Hemisphere. So 
Thank you very much, John. Well, it was my pleasure to speak with you, and I look forward to meeting you in person and, and returning to Sydney.